हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ निधि चोपड़ा फ्रॉम खालसा कॉलेज फॉर वुमेन सिद्धवा खुर्द एंड आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर अ लेक्चर ऑन एफ ई टी एफ ई टी इज फील इफेक्ट ट्रांजिस्टर एंड दिस इज वन ऑफ द टॉपिक ऑफ बीएससी फाइनल ईयर लास्ट सेम सो नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल देर इज अ पिक्चर इन विच यू कैन सी एफ ई टी वर्सेज बी जे टी नाउ वॉट आर बी जे टीज The full form of BJT is bipolar junction transistor. We will discuss about both of them similarities and differences. So first of all, the similarity between them is that both of these are used as amplifiers in switching devices and also in impedance matching circuits. Now we will discuss about their differences. This slide gives you about the differences for FETs and BJTs. First of all, we will think we will see that FETs are the voltage control devices, whereas BJTs are the current control devices. FETs are having higher input impedance, whereas there is lower input impedance for BJTs. FETs are sensitive to temperature variations, but BJTs are higher sensitive as compared to fets towards temperature variations next is fets are the unipolar device now what do you mean by unipolar devices these are such devices in which the contribution to the current is only from the majority charge carriers whereas in case of bjts the contribution to the current is due to both the majority and the minority charge carriers that's why these bjts are also called as the bipolar junction transistors or bipolar devices the last difference between them is that fets are easily integrated chips means they can be easily formed in integrated form whereas it is difficult to form integrated chips for bjts and comparatively heavier bj uh, integrated chips are formed for these bjts now we will move forward towards the types of fets so here the first type is jfet the junction field effect transistor next is the metal semiconductor field effect transistor and third is the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor this third type is having further subtypes first is the d mosfet means the depletion mosfet means in this mo in this type of mosfet the current will decrease corresponding to a particular type of voltage similarly there is another subtype that is the e mosfet also called as the enhancement mosfet in which the current increases corresponding to a particular voltage so first of all we will discuss about the operation of the junction field effect transistors so here is we will discuss about first of all the construction of the junction field effect transistor its construction consists of three terminals these three terminals are first of first is the drain second is the source and third is the gate if we are considering an n type jfet then the gate is connected to the p type channels and source and drain are connected both to the n chan n type channels so here are the two types of jfets shown here mostly n channel is widely used here we are showing both types of jfets first picture is for the n channel and second is for the p channel and in electronics by using the symbols the structures for n channel and p channel circuits are given below so you are wondering about what are the n channel and p channel substrates so here we for n channel jfets we are taking an n type substrate n type substrate means those semiconductors which are daubed with the pentavalent impurity now what are the pentavalent impurities 
these are the type of impurities which are having five valence electrons so using this type of substrate and doping on the right and left hand side with the p then you can form a jfet that is the n channel jfet where the upper and the bottom portion are connected to the drain and source and the middle portion is connected to the gate terminal same is with the case for the p channel in which the substrate is taken as a p type means having doped with the trivalent impurity means having atoms which are having three valence electrons here n channels are doped on the right and left hand side and the upper terminal is called as the drain lower as the source and the middle as the gate mostly n channel are widely used as the mobility of electrons is more as compared to the holes next we will discuss about the functioning of jfets so basically jfets are operated in reverse bias mode here reverse biasing is applied to the gate and source for n channel cases gate which is connected to the p type also connected to the negative of the voltage whereas source is positive as compared to the gate similarly here that out of drain and source terminal the drain is kept as positive potential as compared to the source due to these situations the drain is more positive as compared to source so the electrons will feel repulsion from the source side and will go towards the drain and feel attracted there as a result a current is set up this current will increase more and more if the drain is made more positive with respect to the source provided that the gate source voltage is initially zero next we will discuss about the curve we obtained for the drain source voltage and the drain current this curve shows us two regions first region before the vp voltage is called as the ohmic region or the linear region in which the jfet behaves like an ordinary resistor means increase in the drain source voltage causes increase in the current next comes the pinch off region pinch off region is the region in which the current becomes constant means jfet act as a constant current device and the drain current is independent of the applied drain source voltage here idss is the drain current when the source is short circuited means that gate source voltage is zero it also means that no reverse biasing is applied next region is the breakdown region breakdown region is the region in which id means the drain current becomes so much high and the last region is the cut off region cut off region corresponds to the gate source voltage means if we are applying the reverse biasing in such a way that the drain current stops so that voltage is said that the gate source voltage which is the cut off voltage vgs off next we will discuss about its full full operation so first of all if the vgs is zero means no reverse biasing is applied with the increase in the drain source voltage the depletion region also increases and a time comes when the drain current becomes constant now if we are increasing the reverse biasing that is more and more negative gate source voltage is applied then this causes increase in the depletion region width which restricts the flow of the electron through the n type channel as a result of which the drain current 
decreases and then a point comes when the depletion region width becomes so much high becomes so much large or the depletion region we can say that extends so much inwards the n type substrate that there is no path for the flow of the electrons and thus the drain current stops so this voltage this gate source voltage is called as the vgs of or the cut off voltage corresponding to which the drain current stops here i am showing you the jfet operating characteristics here we can see that ohmic and saturation region are there and also the different curves are there for the different gate source voltage when vgs was zero means no gate source voltage was applied the current was maximum that is idss as the gate source voltage is becoming more and more negative from minus 1 to minus 3 to to minus 3 and minus 4 the current curve gets shifted downwards this shows decrease in the current or we can say that decrease in the drain voltage drain current with the increase in the gate source voltage or the reverse biasing voltage so today's topic of jfet is complete we will discuss about the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor in our next session thank you so much have a nice day